Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Wednesday, July 17th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Slopey roofs, DNC money, Elon leaving. And Jack Black canceled. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, the latest on the assassination attempt of Trump that missed by the slightest of a head tilt. The head of the Secret Service said one reason why there was no one on that roof was because it was too sloped. She said there's a safety factor that needs to be considered there. We wouldn't want to put somebody on a sloped roof. That is such an asinine lie directly to your face. I talked to someone who's been in the roofing business for 50 years. He said that's a 212 pitched roof, not much steeper than a handicapped ramp. Plus, there was the other roof that had the Secret Service snipers on it. That was more. That is so absurd for them to lie to your face like that. Reports also that there were snipers in that same building or an adjacent building looking for anything amiss in the crowd. So this assassin was above them. The Democrats have announced $15 million of investments going into swing states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, North Carolina. Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, each getting about $2 million. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has pledged $45 million a month to a Donald Trump super PAC. Speaking of Elon, he wrote on Twitter, quote, this is the final straw. Because of this law and many others that have preceded it, attacking both families and companies, SpaceX will now move its headquarters from Hawthorne, California to Starbase, Texas. And X headquarters will move to Austin. What law? Newsom signed the bill that would make it illegal for school administrators to tell parents if their child goes by different pronouns or is socially transitioning or going by a different name in school. No parental notification if your child has gender dysphoria. Elon says, we're out. Jack Black, he's in a band called Tenacious D, and they were up on stage in Australia, and the other guy was blowing out a birthday cake candle and said, my wish, don't miss Trump next time. Tenacious D has canceled the rest of their tour. Kyle Gass has apologized. He said the line was highly inappropriate, dangerous, terrible mistake. I don't condone violence of any kind against anyone. What happened was a tragedy. I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain that I've caused. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. The great Bill O'Reilly has your message of the day. Next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800 925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800 7584 Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Wednesday, Senator J.D. Vance is an interesting guy. Traditional conservative, Marine Corps vet, Yale Law School, Catholic convert, author, journalist, business guy. I'm almost short of breath writing this. As Donald Trump's VP selection, Vance will immediately be lionized by Republicans and attacked by liberal Democrats. Not sure personal mud will be thrown so close to the shooting, but it would not be surprising. As far as votes are concerned, doesn't seem like the Ohio guy will move that needle a lot. However, he will give Kamala Harris some jazz in the debate, certainly. Now, I don't know Vance, never met him, but he's not boring. In fact, The Trump-Vance ticket may be the liveliest in the history of the United States. 
Looks like Republicans are going for MAGA domination here. Don't think the New York Times or NBC News will approve, and perhaps that is why Donald Trump selected Mr. Vance. One phrase, in your face. About 160 million Americans voted in 2020. That's a lot of faces. But at this point, the race seems to be pretty close. Whether J.D. Vance can put Trump over the top is unknown and will be until the day after we vote. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Let's go to the mail. We got Tim McSherry, Manhattan Beach, California. President Biden is responsible for the Trump shooting. The past four years of rhetoric from Biden contributed to this event with the impressionable sick young man. All right. If you're going to say that, Tim, then you have to say if the reversal happened and Biden was shot, that some of Trump's rhetoric led to that. Would you are you willing to do that? Okay. Bart. Bill, I agree that Biden was not literally responsible for the attempt assassination of Trump, but Biden is one of the leaders of your so-called hate brigade. Okay, I'm not going to dispute that. Because nobody has done more aggressive reporting on President Biden than me. Robert, Trump didn't go overboard. He took the gloves off due to Biden's Justice Department. However, he never demonized Biden. Robert. I don't know. I mean, look, I can come up with 10 minutes solid of Donald Trump demonizing Joe Biden. I'm not going to do it because everybody knows that he has done that. You believe in what you want to believe, but you got to get in the real world here. Brian Lindner, Rio, Wisconsin. Well, I get your point about over the top rhetoric coming from both sides. I feel you were comparing apples to oranges. The left's outrageous comments are coming from mainstream networks and cable shows. You had to dig down and get right wing podcasters who I admit have reach to find anyone pushing the envelope. So what? Hate is hate. Yeah, you're right. The corporate media and they're the ones I'm going after hardest. But hate is hate. In a moment, something you might not know. Everything is expensive these days. You know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its free fall. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money, your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Five years ago today, a judge in New York sentenced one of the most dangerous men in the world to life in prison. The decision ended his leadership of Mexico's deadliest drug cartel. Here is the story of El Chapo. Born in 1957 to a family of middle-class farmers, Joaquin Guzman was dubbed El Chapo because of his limited height. The name is Mexican slang for shorty. El Chapo began selling pot in the 1970s, then cocaine, then heroin. By the 80s, El Chapo controlled the Sinaloa cartel, named after the Mexican state of his birth. Under his leadership, the organization controlled the largest drug smuggling operation in the world. At its height, Chapo's gang generated $40 billion in annual revenue. 
to maintain control, his gangsters killed more than 40,000 people. Guzman was arrested in 1993, but predictably escaped a Mexican prison. After 15 years on the run, he was arrested again. Fearing another escape, he was extradited to the USA to face charges of drug trafficking, money laundering, kidnapping, extortion, and murder. On July 17, 2019, El Chapo was sentenced to life in prison, plus another 30 years. He was also ordered to pay $12 billion in damages to the United States government. The 67-year-old smuggler remains incarcerated at a supermax federal prison in Colorado. He will never see freedom again. And here's something else you might not know. Today, the Mexican cartels are more powerful than ever. The open border has generated billions of dollars in extra drug revenue. Now there are 25 different cartels. In total, they make $100 billion every year through drug smuggling, human trafficking, and corruption. The result? Five of the 10 most dangerous cities in the world are in Mexico. Back after this. Are you feeling the impact of recent timeshare industry changes? Now more than ever, the costs of timeshare ownership far outweigh the benefits. My friends at Lone Star Transfer are the only company I trust to help you get out. Our listeners' positive feedback demonstrates why I've supported the company for years. For more than a decade, they have helped over 20,000 owners get out of the timeshare. Their exclusive options can help you get out faster and easier, more than any other option in the country. They are the only company that will give you a written guarantee and release you from your timeshare in a specific time frame. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, and thousands of five-star reviews, customer service is their top priority. For free consultation and a guaranteed solution, please call 855-551-7066. That's 855-551-7066. Or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. For more news and honest analysis, please go to BillOReilly.com. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.